Hello beautiful people and welcome to the Imperial Balloons channel where we strive to make you feel like royalty during all your special occasions. So today I'm going to take you guys along to set up with me for a birthday party. The client wanted a balloon hoop, that's what she knew for sure. And then she wanted a bunch of colors, like literally she was like I want gold, I want rose gold, I want silver and then she wanted pink as well. And I was like okay I think we have to kind of see which colors we really want and which ones are more secondary so she ended up being like you know what it's okay I trust you I've seen your work and yeah I'm just gonna let you figure it out so that was really good because it kind of eased my mind a little bit because I was like how am I going to combine all these colors it was it was a bit much please note that the flower wall is not mine that was already there at the venue and this was the place that I needed to set up so I just had to work with it I was kind of disappointed with the wall I wish it was a little bit lighter because I felt like the colors that I picked kind of got washed out by the wall but again I had to work with what I had so So what I do to make sure that my circle frame doesn't go anywhere is I put a huge block, I think, I don't know what type of block it is, it's just a stone that I found in my mom's garden. <laughs> I put that on the frame to make it sturdy, I put one in the back and then one in the front. And then I have bought these gold table runners and I just put that under the circle frame and wrap that around so that you don't see that there's actually some stones under there. So the colors that I picked for this backdrop, I actually had some colors left over. So that right there is Bell Bell Glossy Pink. And then I have Sempertex Reflex Gold. And then the pink color is Rosewood by Sempertex. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding the balloons to the balloon hoop. I make sure to twist the balloons on opposite sides of the frame so that they kind of interlock and get really tight and don't go anywhere. So this client actually contacted me in the beginning of September of this year and I gave her a quote she said that she would discuss it and get back to me but I didn't hear anything after that so I was just like okay well this is just one of those clients that goes ghost after you give them a quote right either the price is too much or they have found somebody else or whatever the reason may be so fast forward to the 19th of October I got a call from her and she was like hey I think something went wrong I meant to book with you but I feel like maybe I typed in the message and didn't press send so yeah she wanted to book with me which was fine I was like cool new client love it but this was the 19th of October like I said and her event was on the 22nd yeah lucky for her I wasn't booked and busy that weekend so I took the booking and you know we went over the details again figured out what she liked and what she wanted she eventually again like I said trusted me to pick out the colors and she did like the idea of having some pompous as well in the setup so yeah we got it together
at this point the base of the garland is pretty much done I'm just gonna start adding some extra balloons to add to the volume of the look to make it look a little bit more full and luxurious and expensive because of course that's what we're going for So for anyone interested in how many balloons it kind of takes to make this, at least the base of the garland, in every single cluster there's eight balloons. So if you look at the thumbnail and do some counting, you can kind of guesstimate how many balloons you're going to need for this kind of setup. since I couldn't really figure out what I wanted with that extra cluster of uh, rosewood balloons I just started adding my five inch decorators already I always stress that I get that there is a, a way that we build these garlands but if you're working on the base and you get stuck on how you want to make it fuller or make or shape it don't be scared to move on to the next step like adding the five inch decorators and then circle back to that point I'm an overthinker so it works for me to just let it go and move on instead of dwelling on it because I will literally stand there and look at it and walk back to the camera and look at it again and walk back to, and look at it again and then before you know it 10 minutes have passed <laughs> so don't be afraid to just move on and circle back to whatever you feel like you still need to work on. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on what you think about the setup so far, like the video and maybe share it with a friend. And you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac.
for my favorite thing in the world, the five inch mini garlands. I love these. I am in love with these. I am putting them in every setup that I do from now on. I am obsessed. Now, I'm a little upset with myself because that rosewood mini garland should not be there because in a moment you'll see that I'm going to put some gold pillars right in front of it so at the end of the day you can't even see them. If I had the chance to do it again, I would probably put that on the top left rosewood cluster or the only rosewood cluster that is on the right. I feel like it would yeah at least show in the end result which in this case it didn't unfortunately This will happen or at least it can happen I ended up taking off those five inch mini clusters that I had on that right side because I wanted to add the mini garland now if I would have added it to that piece with the five inch mini cluster still there it would have been a little bit too much so I just took a pair of scissors cut it out like it was never there So now I'm going to start adding my pompous elements that went really fast, but I'm telling you in real life, it did not go this fast. I was actually struggling quite a bit. The pompous that I had on the right side, I stuck that in some oasis. I don't know if that's what it's called in English, but I'm just going to go with it in the oasis, the green stuff. And yeah it was getting kind of messy and it wasn't that sturdy but i used some zip ties to kind of attach it to the hoop and it ended up working out pretty well and now i'm just adding some more five inch clusters because i had to hide that green stuff that that i stuck the pompous in stems that I had to put in to match the sparkle that was in the bouquet that was in the vase and I ended up popping two balloons so yeah it was good because it ended up matching but yeah try not to pop your balloons guys By the way, I'm obsessed with these gold pillars. I actually rented them from somebody in my area, but I need to get me a pair of my own because they are so sturdy and so pretty and they give such a luxurious look to the whole setup. Yeah, I need to I need to definitely invest in that. So yeah, that's the setup guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, 
please be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like leave a comment or share this video with a friend and you can find me on all social media platforms at imperialballoons.ac thank you guys so much for watching and until next time